So today I have two live trades to share with you. The first trade that we're going to go ahead and review is a meta rejection play off of 117. I built this game plan and I sort of talked about this trade in the pre-market live stream, prepared you guys for this setup. If you guys were part of that pre-market live stream, you saw how this worked out. This was a break and retest of a key 117 level. I have that trade recorded live and I want to share with you how I executed that trade today. Now this trade did fake me out on my first attempt to enter the play and you'll see all of my executions on this trade in the live recording you'll see how i started red on this position came back to green after trusting the setup the second trade that we're going to look at is a tesla break and retest this was a retest of a previous day low we regained that previous day low we turned it into support and after seeing that support step in intraday both on tesla as well as on the nasdaq i went ahead and i took a long position on tesla and i recorded it live to share with you today so two live trades to share with you guys today i hope you do enjoy it i hope you learn something from hearing these trades unfold live if you enjoy after watching it make sure to press that like button. So we're going to go ahead and start today's video here on the 30 minute chart on Meta. You guys can see this is the last two weeks of price action. We got that big push to the upside above this 117 level up to that 124. And this is where we ended up rejecting here on Tuesday of this week. We had that big crack to the downside. Now, when we got that big crack to the downside, you can see that we went ahead and we broke this key level of support around 117. Now, it is very rare for us to see a break to the downside of a major key level, a previous support level, and never get that retest. The retest is the trade that I look for. I do not try to trade the breakdown. I don't try to trade the flush. I don't try to chase the downside. I stay patient and I wait for the retest. So over the last two days, I've been eyeing the 117 retest here on Meta, looking to see any push up to that 117 level. Do we turn it into a rejection? I am going to look to see if 117 turns into a rejection on Meta today. That's going to be a watch for me. I am going to be looking for Meta to pop into 117 and for it to reject this previous low. That's going to be my watch today. So you guys can see here, previous low, right here, previous low. If Meta pops into 117 and it starts to show me rejections, I want to try to go short there. Now, why do I want to go short there? Because my idea would be that the previous lows turns into a rejection, which sets me up with a very nice risk to reward, right? Risk is there. Reward is back here. That's like a 10 to 1. I'll take that all day. Does Meta turn a previous support level, which was here back on Thursday and Friday of last week, 117, after breaking it, do we come back to that level and do we turn it into a rejection? Well, this morning, we saw that push on Meta to the upside pre-market into open. We started to see some rejections at the exact 117 key level, and I went ahead and I caught some puts for a very quick downside move and had a very quick profit on this position. Break and retest, 30-minute chart, couldn't be any cleaner here. Previous double bottom support, broke that support, turned it into a rejection. Player puts here on that break and retest, very easy stop loss. If the stock goes back above 117, you get stopped out, you move on, or you relook at the position and try to re-enter. And that is exactly what I did today. I entered on 117. I entered some put options. I got stopped out, took about a $500 loser, still believed in the setup, still believed in the strategy, kept my losers small. I was a little bit early to the trade, didn't want to get too aggressive on the position just after one or two minutes after market open. So I re-looked at the position, understood that the setup was still there, and I re-entered and went red to green on this position. So I want to go ahead and now share that live trade with you guys. You can see how this all unfolded, the live trade the put options on meta today off of 117 mm, that meta 117 level starting to show a little bit there oh baby i'm watching this 117 on meta all right i'm taking meta there 117 put stop right over 117 that's my exact level i gotta take a shot there real quick stop if it's over 117 i'm out i'll relook at this i know it's early I'm going to try to play this with the rejection I'm seeing on the NASDAQ ES. Could be wrong here, though. I'm definitely early to it. All right, I'm out. Don't like it. I'll relook at it. Still going to watch it. Still looks decent. Might look to get back in here, actually. All right, I'm taking meta again. That's a very clear rejection. I got to take this. Here we go. I'm in meta puts again. 117 put, stop over 117. That's my level, I gotta go for it. Here we go. All right, back to green. Made back those losses, nice. 
Let's see if I can get some continuation here. Love that 117 rejection. If this thing slips 115.70, we might be in some real business here. Yep, 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 yep. That's really good. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm taking half off there. I mean, it could definitely pop on us here, guys. So make sure to scale out, right? This is definitely scale out time. There we go. I think it'll pop off 115 for a 115.70 retest. That's what I would look for. That could be your entry right there. Stop over 115.70. It's it's not as not as I wouldn't be as confident in it as I was at 117, but it's a pretty decent break and retest of the pre-market lows right here. That is still. Let's see if Meta rejects 115 here. Might be nice actually. Let's see. Nasdaq still sort of holding that 11.5 level though. All right, I'm out of Meta. Got over my stop. All out. So you guys saw there in the live recording how I did get stopped out of my first position, but I sort of talked to the group how this setup was still valid, right? I did get stopped out. It was a little bit early. I didn't want to risk too much. I was a little bit cautious of maybe a big pop to the upside. Didn't want to get stuck in too much drawdown there. So I did take my position off for a small loss. Saw that we rejected that 117, saw that the trade was still valid, re-entered and scaled out as I normally do as I get the move in my favor. A very clean trade off this 117 break and retest. The next trade that I have for you in today's video is a Tesla break and retest to the upside. Now, I did switch my bias intraday to the upside because the NASDAQ was able to break over a very key 11,600 level. So if we go over to the NASDAQ chart, this was the main reason why I switched my bias for upside. If we go to the one minute chart, this 11,600 level was very key intraday. We had this pre-market high here at 11.6. We had multiple previous rejections at 11.6 if we were to zoom out. And we can see that today we broke that 11.6. We pulled back to it and we had a very clean hold of 11.6. Now, after the NASDAQ was able to regain pre-market high, turn it into a support here around 10.03 a.m. today, we had that upside move and we had that eventual squeeze to the upside. Now, I didn't get this initial squeeze on Tesla or on the NASDAQ off this 11.6 retest, but what I did is I waited for for it to pull back to this previous high. We had this high here around 11.610, right around this uh, 1018, 1019, 1020 candle. We got a pullback, previous high, held that, created a higher low. And after seeing the NASDAQ hold that strength, understanding that the NASDAQ was above 11.6, it was in bullish territory, breaking out of the pre-market high and holding it as support, I flipped my bias to the upside and I found this Tesla retest. So if we go back to the one minute chart here on Tesla, you guys can see that we did have a previous high here on Tesla around this 173.50 level. We had another wick rejection here around 173.50 as well. We broke out of that level and around the same time that the NASDAQ was pulling back, 10.18, 10.19, 10.20, we had that pullback right to that previous double top high. Now, instead of having this act as a rejection point, I started to see that it started to turn into a new support. A previous double top rejection turning into support. That is a very clear cut bullish technical factor. We went up, we pulled back, previous highs into support. I went long here. You guys can see in the live trade, once you watch it, I went long at this level, looking for this little flag breakout. I wanted to see us hold this 173 area right here, turn this previous high into a support, went long, anticipating that hold and anticipating the squeeze to the upside, and I scaled out into this push right here. Have the whole trade recorded live, break and retest, and I'll go ahead and share it with you guys right now. All right, guys, I'm in Tesla here. I'm in some Tesla 175 calls. <clears throat> stop under 170, stop under this little uh, five. I'm gonna probably put a stop under 173 here. Yeah, I like 173. Stop under this little <clears throat> consolidation low. Tight stop. I'm looking for the previous highs here intraday to turn into support. And I'm looking for this to break out of a flag. If we drop 173, I'll probably just take it and, and probably just wrap up the day. Looking for this to sort of work out here. This is a previous high from intraday. I also like the NASDAQ hold of 11.6. It might be a tad early to this. It's a 
break and retest of the previous highs. NASDAQ's holding 11.6. Now, everything's sort of moving higher. Now, if Tesla doesn't move higher with the market, then that's when I'm going to lose here. If the Tesla does not react to the market here, I will be I will be taking a loss. Market looks very good for a push here on Tesla. Like it? Need that need that push here on Tesla. Market sh is definitely supporting it. Come on, man, give it to me. There it is. More. Need more. Need more. Setup looks fantastic. Wow, NVIDIA is literally screaming. There we go. There we go. Come on, Tesla. Do it. Yep. <laughs> All right, half off there. Big win. 1700, half off. 175 might be tough, though. I'm out. I'm out. All right, guys. So that is what I have for you today. Two very clean retest trades. One of them on a longer term time frame. So Meta is a good example of how you can zoom out, look for some longer term retest, look how you can trade setups on a longer term basis and how to apply those into your intraday trading. Saw that 117 level on the 30 minute and I implemented it into my short term trading. Tesla was more of a short term retest, an intraday retest to the upside, understanding that the market turned into a bullish environment after that 11.6 push, looking for that upside off a previous high, turning it into support, and scalping some contracts to the upside for a nice quick win. The break and retest is something I will continue to push on this channel. If you guys do enjoy this strategy, if you want to learn more about it, make sure to stay tuned to the channels. You can check out where I trade live every single day down in the Discord below. And the most important thing, which I think the most value is provided, is the pre-market live streams every single morning starting at 8 a.m. where we review all of these setups. Meta was straight from the live stream today, so if you guys caught that, congratulations. Press that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.